Hi, I'm Skyler. So let's say something bad happens to your phone and it's gone completely, but you want to gain access to your backups that were stored in iTunes on your computer. Well, where were they stored? Let's go over the process of finding them on a Mac. First, go to Finder. When you're in Finder, you notice Go up at the top on the left. If you click Go, you see a list of all the places on your computer. But there's one important thing missing in Lion and Mountain Lion, and that's Library. In order to see Library, hold down Option. It appears all of a sudden. Click Library, and Finder opens. So here we are, Library. Then you want to click Application Support. Scroll down a bit. Mobile Sync. Backup. And there you are. All of these different folders contains the, contain the backups for my iPods, my iPad, and my iPhone. If I click on one, I see all of these different long file names and a bunch of what are called documents, but aren't actually. Uh, actually, I happen to pick a cache file. So I can see this one, interestingly enough. But many of the files here, you won't actually be able to open. So this says it's a document. If I try to open it, it won't be able to. There we go. So I could install Xcode and really get into you know trying to hack that file if I wanted to, but it's probably really not going to be a lot of fun for you. And if it is, then you probably already know what you're doing. Um, here, here they are, basically, in short. There are applications out there that allow you to use these files. Uh, mobile sync support is one of them. And another file is called file or application is called file juicer. File juicer costs around twenty dollars and allows you to extract some pretty amazing data like SMS histories, um, uh, cache histories, all sorts of stuff. So if you really want to gain access to the stuff that's in that iPhone backup, you can do it. Uh, just a, a couple applications, utilities will help you. Uh, if the iPhone backup was encrypted, however, good luck, <laughs> because that's going to be much, much more difficult. And you're probably going to need a lot of computational cycles in order to do that. Um, which brings me to my next point. Uh, if you don't ever want somebody to be able to open up your backups as easily as I've found them here, encrypt your backups through iTunes. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.